just going to spend a little minute now talking about modifiers, um, lighting modifiers. The best way to learn these things is to totally experiment with them. Okay, so if you're using a big, broad, round light source like this, this umbrella, um, it's going to be a really big, wrapping, soft light that's going to sort of spill out throughout the room. So if you're doing like a big group photo, one of these are really, really cool. Soft boxes are kind of big, soft sources of light, and they push the light into a direction, okay? So there's not as much spill. It's a bit easier to control. Let me show you how to mount one of these things. And again, I would probably encourage you to, the first time you pop in here, just come see Tracy and I, and we'll get it done with you. So this is a cover. This is not a lighting modifier. If you shoot with this, you will melt this onto the light and then I will be very, 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 very sad. See this lever here? Grab that. Rotate it, uh, what is it, anti-clockwise? And then once you feel it loosen up, you can take it out. Okie dokie. So, these three teeth here line up with the three teeth there, okay? And literally, I just undo a bit of Velcro and give myself a really good grip. I'm just lining up those teeth and then slot, moving the whole metal ring until it locks in. And then once it's in, it's in. Getting the light off is similar. I like to pull some of this away so I've got a really good grip on there. Let this go, move the light till it releases and then sort of gradually lift it away. Things you want to watch out for is you really try to want to, don't really want to spend much time touching at all. Anytime any of this kind of stuff in here, that globe is the money maker. That's where all the good light comes out of. In there too is a really powerful LED for modeling and for some video work too, potentially. Um, so you really want to try and avoid mucking around and smashing the modifiers into that. This is a snoot and what it basically does is it takes the big light at this end and shrinks it down into a small area of light at this end, okay? So it's a popular sort of thing for lighting just a fraction of a person's face. This is a little honeycomb grid which actually shrinks the beam even further. And you can use that just to pump light on the, say, the back of someone's head as a hair light to separate them off a the background. And it goes on in exactly the same way. Clicks in, you point, you shoot. It's awesome. This modifier is kind of probably, if you just want to shoot with a bare light, just have a, you'd probably want to use something like this. So this is just literally, it just kind of, it's like a reflecting kind of dish that focuses the beam. And this is just like a little diffusion piece of plastic that sort of softens the beam enough. The last really fun piece of lighting gear and this is new, is the beauty dish. And it lives in a case because it's a little bit fragile. Have a look at this thing. Okay, so it's got the teeth at the back there. It's got this really white reflective surface on the, in the middle of it. And then it's got this kind of, are we even in focus here? Let me, come on, get some. Yeah, cool. Um, it's got th this sort of arrangement in the middle is just hanging off some springs. Basically what's happening is the light's going in, it's bouncing off that thing in the middle there, and then it's all reflecting out onto your subject this way. It's a really, really sweet light. It looks very fashion. It mounts just like all the others.